What is the strangest thing you find in the home of someone you've played with? What would you say the strangest thing in this house is? Um, probably them chocolate bottles. Oh yeah, the wee Asian woman's chocolate assholes you bought me for Christmas. Yeah. Like ten years ago. Yeah. Or the twelve inch dildo under the bed. Oh that that too, of course. <laughs> like you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Coffee maker in the bathroom. I try not to think too hard about it. I don't think that's on like really out there, but it does Look, just make me but, think but, of Chris Chan. Yeah, but well Chris yeah. Chan when he burnt his house. When down, he burnt his fucking house. Down, down with yeah. a coffee maker in the bathroom. But like if you think about it it makes sense. Whenever you drink coffee, you shit. These, so, like, drink, so in the morning, drink your coffee on the toilet. Watch a wee YouTube video. You don't, you don't, you don't need me that up. quick. Well, if you're in a time crunch, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right. Take a sip and then squeeze. <laughs> See what happens. The first place I went to, it was so filthy and gross. A group from work was doing it, and they asked if I wanted to try, and I said sure. So they invited four people from work, and then five other guests I was unaware of. So a group of fucking nine people. It was torturous. This really fat girl who was engaged to a nerd at the table kept flirting with me as well. I told them I had to use the restroom and it was super bad as well. The toilet paper holder looked like it had piss stains. Oh God. (laughs) Pubes all over the toilet. Fuck. Then the location moved to a different girl's house with her fiance and a player cut. Now five. One of the guys wore a tank top. He's fat and he constantly lifted his arms up to expose his pits. Oh, I guess they were sweaty or hot. Clumps of deodorant on them, of course. Oh, God. The d- well, at least he's wearing fucking deodorant. Yeah, he's trying. He's, he's trying. trying. He's, he's doing something. The dog kept licking his feet, too. Well, my dog licks my feet, I'm not going to lie. My dog licks every... He, he's just got a licking addiction. He does. He's a wee licky wee dog. <laughs> He'd be dangerous with a furry. Oh, yeah, because the thing is... Like, we see- said this before. It's like, thank you fuck that we got you and nobody else took you he, he would be fuck. dangerous because anyone that comes into the house is like can I give a guy please uh-huh. he's, he's a really adorable a wee dog he's a really adorable wee dog with him up on screen went to the restroom and also a bunch of pop pubes I'm guessing that says you could tell that they were from the girl as well what? how can you tell is there a difference between boys pubes and girls pubes I don't think so I don't know let us know down below <laughs> is there a difference I, I've never heard about this before do people not clean the toilet when they know they're going to have guests? Location then moved to a different guy's apartment. It was overall okay. He had silverware in his bathroom, but no pu- poo knife. Oh, poo knife. knife! Yes. <laughs> remember that guy with the poo knife? He had a poo knife. Yes. Oh fuck! I remember that video. Yeah. So uh, what happened was it was this fella and in his family they laid massive turds. And- <laughs> Somebody wrote silver poo knives. Yes. Yes. Very <laughs> distinguished. Very sophisticated. <laughs> My friend's mum had a Bible room that was absolutely full of pictures and statues of Jesus and fairies. Fairies? I mean, like, if I'd be honest with you, that's not that unusual. Over like, here? See, over here, like, f- see my granny's house, it was full it was of fucking, full. of, like, statues of Jesus. Like, I remember going down, like, whenever I mean the country boys, I mean, like, Irish, like, in the country. Yeah. Going down, drinking in a girl's house but she owned a farm and her granda lived next door and her granda was away so we stayed in her granda's house and we all went in now about 14 pissed off our heads yeah. went in pitch black I went to go walk up the stairs and all these massive statues were staring over <laughs> the banister while I shit and fell down the stairs <laughs> like somebody's staring at me honestly them old, them old statues of Jesus were pretty creepy uh-huh. And then I had to sleep in a room that was blood red with all these pictures of Mary staring at me. I mean, there must have been about 50 pictures in one tiny little single box room. It does feel like statues in particular, they would set, like old people would set them up so they are facing you at all times. Yeah. And it's good. To remind you, be good. (laughs) Jesus is watching, guys. Jesus is watching. I don't get the Jesus and fairies, though. Yeah, let's keep going with us. No crossover between the two. Like Jesus talking to fairies. Just framed art of fairies mixed in with pictures of Jesus. The walls were covered with them. And there were bookshelves full of statues and knickknacks. Jesus and fairies in every direction. And then, like a chair and a coffee table and a footstool. I was told not to ask about it. <laughs> you know, I, I you know, I like to imagine that maybe this was like maybe 20 years ago. And this was kind of like a weird Jesus Wiccan. Yeah. So, somebody said, should have asked. Sounded like the beginning of a good quest line. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that does sound like a good... Yeah, yeah. A room full of Nazi artifacts. 
first edition Mein Kampf as well as a lot of other books and publications. He had a ton of original weapons, uniforms and other kit as well, but yeah, it was interesting. Sounds like that Father Ted episode to me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I, I hear you're, I hear you're not Nazi now, father. father. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Honestly, this isn't. I think like a lot of people are fascinated by what works and well. Yeah. And I don't really see this as that out there. If I be honest with you, a lot of people have war memorabilia. Oh yeah, look, that's like the biggest boomer. T- okay, so what are boomers into? They're into their cars and. A lot of them seem to go for like a Korean. What was that thing that I read? Once you once you hit over thirty, you're you're either really into cars, barbecuing, or um, history. Yes, actually, that is true. Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like I already see this boomer. Mm-hmm. I can I can already picture him perfectly in my head. Yeah, RDM had a pile of glaives leaned up against the fridge that caught fire repeatedly in his garage. Why repeatedly? Why, why, you, you, you threw that out once it goes on fire <laughs> once, guys. Or okay. move it. Just move it. Another guy we played with had copies of copies of Mein Kampf next to mangas from the eighties and old fighting games in his game room. Unusual, but you know. <laughs> you know why people have like the people buy these um, really interesting books for coffee table and they're just oh, coffee yeah. books now, like just Mein Kampf and mangas on the coffee <laughs> table. <laughs> I have four home assistants, five screens, two separate speaker systems, and four computers on the walls of my game room, all of which will be used when I DM. Honestly, that, that sounds like a pretty banging like setup. Pretty banging setup. Like, how many yeah. screens do we have? We've got one, two, three, three four, five, five, six. If you count the TV, six, yeah, three PCs. Flex. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of Legos on the shelf, like old as fuck Legos he probably made back when he was a kid. When I asked him, he just said he didn't have anything else to put there, and frankly, he should have just left the shelves empty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like, if I be honest with you, that's not that weird. No. Like, you know, like, look, for me, I've taken down a lot of my 40k and packed it away for the most part. Yeah. But I still have one big shelf full Just of stuff. Just full of stuff that and let's you be like serious, to show people. Normies are probably going to think Lego is way more, like, acceptable than, than Warhammer 40k yeah. models, you know? Yeah. They're going to be like, what? what is this? Yeah. You know what normies are like? You know that deadpan look? Yeah. That look. A literal display cabinet full of fucking owner holes and flashlights I mean are they like designer or some shit why why in the display cabinet why do you need (laughs) to do that like sometimes you just gotta flex on (laughs) somebody replied to him saying similar vein my GM has a penis pump and often forgets to put it away how do you forget to put the shit away and why why are you doing this like I'm I'm in the living room I the dining room I, I why, why is it in the dining why room? Why is it in the display? In the no, but why is it, why, why is it in the display why cabinet? It, why is it somewhere that people are going to notice? Maybe he wants them. Maybe it's a maybe it's a weird power fantasy shit. It's like, I wonder, if, is anyone going to actually bring Ask this up? Ask me about this. Or is, 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 this anybody like, is, that, is this like a power move? <laughs> is this based? It depends on his purposes. Yeah. If it's based or not. If it's a, if it's a power play, then I'm going to declare it based. If not, it's kind of... And like, if there's... Like, he says the display cabinet full. So, like, are they all different? Like, do they have... Are we talking themes? Are we talking, like, is there a Hello Kitty one? (laughs) Or is there... (laughs) Is there limited edition gold plated? Megan, next post. I'm not doing this no more. Next post. Strangest thing wasn't in the home so much as it was the home. Wait, how cursed is this house? Uh, when I was in high school, a friend got me into D and D. He was in the industrious. He what? He was the industrious, inventive type, always building shit out of whatever spare parts he had available, ranging from arms and armor to a quarter-size functioning trebuchet. Cool guy, but the house he shared with his dad was a biohazard. You know the smell. No, I don't. <laughs> the mixture of alcohol seeping from the pores, dog hair slash unwashed dog, mouldy dishes in the sink, carpet stained black by age and lack of cleaning, crushed beer cans littering the floor, bed bugs and fleas galore, holes in the walls and ceilings, rotten animal smell from whatever the dog had been rolling in. Truly one of the most putrid homes I'd ever been in and housed two of the nicest, most welcoming people I have ever met. In retrospect, they were the two strangest things in that little dump. 
That's a really unusual. I'm, I don't I'm, like how he assumed that I knew the smell because I fucking don't. <laughs> yeah, I, it's one of those things I just don't want to. But that's sad. It is kind of well, you know, like, they seem to be content in their hovel. They seem like nice people, and honestly, I I, I, I do like the way he built that shade. It is good to call. Yeah. But guys, like you know, it doesn't take. Do I do you have to put on a Jordan Peterson voice and be like, clean your deck, guys? <laughs> do, do, can you do the voice? No, no, I can't do Kermit the Frog. Oh, next post. <laughs> Psst. Hey, lean in closer. This is fucking ASMR channel now. You know what's pretty fucking based? Titties. <laughs> Go see titties. <laughs> Lots of titties. All the titties. <laughs> Go over to the website, check out all the models. You guys know the score. We have some really nice looking models over there. And we have a lot of... It's sci-fi gothic? Yeah. Let's call them sci-fi gothic. And if models isn't your shit, we have loads of subclasses and we keep adding them. Every other week or so, we we, we like, add we, a lot. We, we, we got a lot. Do, do you Look, guys- we've got big brains. We add shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, go over to the website, check out everything. If you haven't subscribed, what the fuck you doing? Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, and let's get back to the video. When I was fresh out of college, I ran a Pathfinder game, hosted at another guy's house. He had a really fancy library room, which is where we played, but barely anything anywhere else. Like mattress on the floor <laughs> and a steamer trunk in his bedroom, plastic card table and folding chairs in the dining room, the kitchen and bathroom fixtures, the library, and then a bunch of empty rooms. He said he was doing them one at a time. Honestly, it makes sense. They're in college. It makes sense. I honestly, knew. Honestly, they're in college. I like, know. honestly, get the patio furniture. Mm-hmm. What are you on about? I knew a guy, well, I don't personally know him, but my dad, he was friends with my dad, he bought a house in quite a. Um, rich part of Northern Ireland oh yeah yeah and um, he bought it quite cheap because it was run down and normally the houses around there go for like millions oh yeah like hundreds and hundreds of thousands into the millions yeah. and he bought it quite cheap because it was it was mould ridden everything yeah and they for two years were doing it up and they had their bed on um you know crates that you got from that the shops get like oh yeah, yeah 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 like, crates yeah. and they sat in crates and stuff because they had little no money other than to put it into the house and then he bought it for something like 60 grand when, and when was this was this in like the... this was like in the 90s or something oh then that's fucking nothing no but still. for still where it is yeah. he bought it for like 60 grand and then like 10 years later he sold it for one and a half million I also I, I would sleep on crates to, for mm-hmm. that money mm-hmm so, you know, honestly, the guy's in college. I don't really see anything that weird. And yeah. like, he's, got, he's got a really nice guy. Please, yeah. so. Furry and erotic MLP art everywhere. Great. I knew this would come up. <laughs> I knew this was going to come up. The floor was so cluttered, he had to shove things away to make a path to the table. It stank so bad, I had to spend a long time near a window to not suffocate. Next to a butt plug <laughs> that was lying on the windowsill. <laughs> and he had a pet snake. Poor snake. Where's Sneaky Boy? I feel bad for where, where, where's where's uh where's Sneak Boy in the comments? <laughs> Was it you? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he had him, he, he had him chained up. <laughs> oh no! Girlfriends, acquaintances, as I don't have any hobby friends or friends for that matter. Based same. Five hundred k plus in Magic the Gathering stored in bo- boxes. Walls with mould and riped paint. Ripped? Riped? Riped? Riped. Ripped? Right, well. Stains everywhere. All full of stuff and Magic the Gathering and unopened figures and Lego in their boxes. Kitchen almost made me throw up. Cat shit literally Ugh. everywhere. No, oh, ca- God. Cat can't shit deal. has to be cat the shit. most vile. Cat piss. Cat piss deal and cat, pe- cat shit. They are so fucking disgusting. It's not even funny. Sink clogged with dirty dishes and shit. The fridge was the stuff of horrors. I would have been less disgusted if I saw a severed head. <laughs> <laughs> Full of dirty Tupperware and bags. Open bottles and containers just left open. Never again. They weren't even good Magic the Gathering players. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to live the neat life, you best, at least, <laughs> best be good at you it. best at least be decent at it. I mean, like, you know, like for me personally, see the bi- <laughs> see when it comes to like, absolutely like, filthy houses... I don't mind like rubbish and shit knocking about like you know, if people like you know aren't you know what I mean. Even if it's just but untidy, the, but I can't handle dirt. Like for actual me, fucking the, the, dirt. The bits that make me want to really vomit is uh, dirty fridges. 
Oh. See a dirty fridge, it really turns me. Yeah. The idea, because, look, I used to work, I worked in the kitchen mm. for years. I worked in the kitchen for like seven, eight years. Mm. And, uh, you know, I like to have a nice, I don't know, I hated doing it at the time, cleaning like the deep freezes, but like at this point in my life, I'm like, no, I, I like to have a nice clean nice, fridge. Nice clean fridge, yeah. You know? Like, it's not that hard. Like, I spend at least an hour every day just tidying and cleaning. Yeah. And then once a week, give it give the place a good clean yeah like it's not that hard i know but like you know it's it's building routine for people and like you know a lot of people who work in shitty ass jobs and like they come in from work and they're just knackered and they mm. just sit the fuck down on the sofa and then the problem is like you know oh you you have a you have your dinner and then you leave it in the sink but then how many days does that go on for and then exactly. it stacks up and stacks up and then it just gets worse and it doesn't take much to make a house look like a fucking bomb site no I'm never done cleaning the kitchen guys oh, it this is the oh. point of being a fucking adult it doesn't matter if I clean the kitchen you go into it and it's fucking disgusting again yeah wild snake in a tied up Walmart bag poor snake boy oh a collection of swords that they didn't buy horse dildo and window by front door with a candle shoved in its dick hole. <laughs> That's a power play. Seems you fully squeaked there. <laughs> That's a, that's a good one. Honestly, I appreciate this. I, 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 I Boys rocking up going, oh, let's go rob this house. See the horse dick and the candle. <laughs> that, that's a warning sign. That's a, like, you know, that's a, you know what, you know what people should be doing? You know that, like, stay off my property signs or, like, beware of the dog? Yeah. People should be doing this type doing of shit. Doing this type of shit. Honestly, it would be way more effective and tell me it wouldn't be. <laughs> Pink bedroom, bathroom, guest room, flowers and stuff everywhere. That's my house. <laughs> <laughs> been told it's odd to many the nail studded baseball bat among the swords is worth to note as it, it is the only addition I personally made to it so okay where did you get the collection of swords from did you just find them did you steal them I love how you're asking that and not why have you got a horse dildo in your window with a candle in it because it's a power play <laughs> and sometimes you just gotta like you know you gotta, you gotta play them mind games with people and really fuck their day up you know what I mean you gotta like you know like prefer to X that shit <laughs> I once played a game of fate with a couple of ham beast women who legitimately believed that they were spell casting witches IRL. They had a cauldron and everything. Smelled like B.O. and Siege in the house too. I guess. <laughs> that sounds like every witch. Every Wiccan every I've ever heard of. Every witch and Wiccan. Oh. Like, no, I'm not a witch. I'm a Wiccan. I don't like thinking about Wiccans. <sighs> I don't know, like, the thing is, see what Wiccans, they always tend to be, like, older millennial types or, like, young Gen X. No, you know, you know who Wiccans are? Who? Hey. People who obsessed over the TV show Charmed. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Charmed. <laughs> That's exactly who. <laughs> so who do you know, Megan? Well, you're, you're saying like you're talking from experience here. You sound like I'm you're not, talking from experience. I'm not saying Are you, are you, are you going to tell us? Who, who no, you know? I'm not saying Oh, 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 oh okay. I'm not exposing nobody. You know, are you not exposing But that? I know Wiccans IRL. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, tell, tell, tell them about the book. Oh, the spell book? Yeah, but don't don't be saying names or anything I'm like not that. saying nothing. Yeah, yeah. But the spell book. Obsessed with Charmed. Anytime they said a spell, they wrote it down. <laughs> what? They made up the spell? Or they were just watching Charmed and Watching then... Charmed and writing it down, but they also made up spells whenever people weren't so nice to them. And what age were they? Uh eighteen. Uh, that's not that bad, being honest with you for eighteen. Maybe like, there's a lot of there's a lot of like, cringy eighteen year olds knocking about these days, but this was like over ten years ago. Yeah. But I don't know, this could all be a figure of imagination at this point. <laughs> I don't say nothing. Go to Boomer DM's house. He directs us to his garage man cave. Boomer core Frazetta. Frazetta. Yeah, I've got Frazetta. Oh, and fucking... Bimacore, Frazetta, and Village. 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 Uh, they're, 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 they, both of them are probably the biggest, like, fantasy <laughs> author. Yeah, fantasy James has author. quite a lot of Frazetta, but. Uh, yeah, I really like it. I've got, you know, the one with, like, the French one over there. I got. You're uh, pointing like they can see you. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like Frank Fazetta. I think his stuff is genuinely the best when it comes to like aesthetically. So yeah, school. boomer core. <laughs> yeah, well, because like... James is a fucking boomer. So boomer core, Frazetta, and Vallejo posters. Home shopping swords on wall as decor. Okay, I don't have any swords, but you know. Separate fridge and freezer for snacks, microwave, and a toaster over on a table. Honestly, sounds pretty beast so sounds far. Sounds pretty beast. It sounds like honestly, it sounds like. 
any gaming centre you go into. Yeah. <laughs> File cabinets for character sheets and maps blown up and mounted on cardboard. Miniatures in taco boxes stacked along the wall. No mam sign over the door. Daughters and wife literally not allowed in. Kind of base days. <laughs> and it's kind of beast like. Eventually have to go ask for the bathroom. DM gets antsy. Suggests just peeing in the bush. Insists I need a toilet. Reluctantly lets me in his house. Super clean and organised. Plastic on furniture. Jesus plates everywhere. Like the mum from Carrie's house. <laughs> Jesus watches me poop from three different angles while I'm forced to read the footprints poem. Poor guy. But good for him for defending his last little acre. He was a breedy. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty, I don't know. He was breedy. He, he was, a breedy. was he a breeder, was he? <laughs> he was a pretty good DM. Honestly, this one was pretty good. I like, I like this guy's sweet cave. Yeah. Honestly, but, but I'll, physically, I'll, you cannot keep me out of here because I work here. <laughs> yeah, I can't get, keep you out. But like you know, again, I like because me and you play like you know games together and whatnot on the PC. And yeah, you know, it's like having a LAN party in the house. Pretty cool. But yeah, honestly, no, pretty beast. Frank Fazetta, check him out if you haven't. He's honestly some of the, it's, his artwork's just really fucking cool. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, will we end it here? Yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Um, so what's the weirdest thing you've ever had? Like, or what's the weirdest thing you have in your house? So uh, expose yourself. Ex- yeah, tell us. Uh, tell us about the most degenerate thing you actually possess. Either what you have, or uh, or someone that you know of that has. Yeah. Some- oh, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one. Actually, this is a good one. So um, I was friends with this fellow for quite a number of years. And he doesn't talk to us these days for reasons, but we'll we'll, we'll may, may, we might note on them. Oh, is this because of me? No, 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 no. This is not. No, it's fucking thingy. Oh right, uh, sir. Sir loves his traps. Oh, sir loves his yeah, traps. Yeah, that was his yeah. character's name. Anyway, anyway. So I go down to his house, and uh, I, of course, I find out much later on what happened with it all. But um, there was something. I was down to his house. We were sitting drinking a cup of coffee at his PC, having a fag or whatever. And uh, there was something, he needed something from under his bed. So I go to lift up his thing. And he's like, no, 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 James, stop. I was like, all right, okay, no sweat. Didn't know this. And I find out months and months later, turned out he was turning into a fanboy, so he was. And he had bought himself. He wanted to be a cam girl. Yeah, he wanted to be a cam girl. And he had bought himself a wee corset. And he kept it under the bed. God knows what else he had under the bed, if I'm honest with you. But that's the one thing that I know that was definitely there. And he was like, no. (laughs) He was very defiant. No, just, just, like, I'll I'll get it later on. I was like, all right, okay, don't you worry. So, uh, yeah, what what, what would. uh, We don't have anything that weird in the house, do we? No, honestly. I honestly couldn't tell you anything that I have. Part of James's Shrek mask. Oh yes, I've got this really cursed Shrek it's mask. It's really cursed. Yeah, do you have any pictures of it? Only the one of you doing the vape niche in the bed, that's it. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I, if we can find it, that was like... Was the pride flag right? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. No, you should... No, no, we can't <laughs> do that. That was pretty funny. That is a pretty cursed item that I've got. I don't know, I can't think of anything, to be honest with you, but like, if you guys enjoyed this one, I know this is different. This is more just us gambling, talking shite. But uh, it wasn't like tabletop games we did at yeah. all. Yeah, be- but it's a fun video, so who gives a shit? Yeah, exactly. But as always, check out the links down below to the website. Check out the models, the subclasses. The subclasses are pretty fucking basic. I'm gonna go check them out. There's more stuff coming out very soon, but yes. I cannot speak about that. So just yet. watch this space. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>